and and then the list goes on and on i'm one of those i'm one of those I'm, i used to be like yes i want to help the poor i know there is a lot of need in the world someday someday god i know you're gonna give me the money to be able to do that but you know what these are just excuses excuses because we no one is that poor that you can give something at least a good advice at least show compassion you don't need no money to do those stuff but we 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 keep giving excuses and um today message i got it from a light i wasn't waiting in the in the red light and i noticed that the that light that particular light there used to be one girl asking for money and then all of the sudden i noticed that there were four people and it's not only on that stop this is happening everywhere or oh, everywhere you go you see the need you see you see everybody is seeing either um it could be yes these people and at, at the light they ask for money but i have seen people you know looking looking down looking literally looking towards the floor so what can you get from from that from somebody looking at the floor is somebody sad somebody that's going through some emotional um ups and down like you and me like we all but um it's about you know as a good christian we 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 need to pay attention to these little things we need to to whatever we go to to check the check around you know look around and see if, if there is any way that we can help others um it could be yes it could be with a with a plate of food uh and in in, in some cases that'll be like a saving somebody else's day making their day but um more than more than something material um giving a good advice bringing them the gospel bringing them the good news telling them you know to hold down because there is somebody that give their, their his life for you somebody that really love you to that point that can that can even you know um be more significant than a a, a a plate of food so um i encourage you guys to look around look around and try to do what you can because you don't need to wait to make money to to be to to hit the lottery you don't need to to wait um for your salary to increase we everybody can do something you know every day we see people all people are uh, crossing the street barely standing barely that they can they you know it's, it's hard for them help them you know just just give it a, a hand one hand at the right moment you can make these people life better and i wanna uh uh, okay, let me see. Yes, this is refers on Matthew, Matthew uh, 25th, uh, 31 to 37. It says, when the Son of Man come, comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, 
When did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and, and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, As surely I said to you, inasmuch you did it to one of, of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. Wow. Wow, that's deep. Clearly we can see here that Jesus will judge us by our actions. He will see the difference between cheats and goats. So, which one you want to be? Which one? It's time, the time is now. Now what we need to do is look around, you know, show that you care. Show that person that they're not invisible. There is a lot of people that they are all by themselves and they, they, they feel that, like they're invisible. Show, show compassion. Show, as the Bible says, one day we're going to be separated because of what we did while we were here. I exhort you guys, I, 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 I was going to say implore, <laughs> I implore God, but I, I suggest guys to get serious about this, get serious because this is something that right now can be, can be, you know, a little bit that you do, it can, it can improve what's going on, you know, surrounding, it's not, it's not easy for nobody. But um, we have to, you know, keep the example of Jesus, keep, keep the, what he, he ordered us to do as a good Christian. So um, I'm going to leave it up to that. Think about it. It's not my word. It's in the Bible. So uh, I suggest, I humbly suggest that uh, take it into consideration and start doing it since tomorrow. If you can now, do it now, if not tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new beginning. Start, start putting you, your little, you know, your little tiny part to make somebody else's at least one day better in their life. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening to me. And I'll see you in my next video.